Welcome to OMSI How to Repaint. This video I will show you how to repaint the Studio Polygon Light. Now hopefully by now you know how to get into your OMSI directory. So let's have a look. We're going to OMSI 2 Vehicles and Studio Polygon Light into the Texture folder and there's a folder called Templates. And in here are all the templates that you need for the current available variants. Now, what I do advise is making a new folder, desktop or anywhere that you know you're going to uh, use a lot. So I'm gonna open the folder on the desktop and I'm gonna go right click copy make another folder studio polygon light and paste the templates folder in there so we're going to keep the main directory the main texture folder open but i'm going to open repaints and then minimize that window so quick access to your repaint templates so we're gonna look at the uh, 9.6 meter template. Now these two are the bodies and these are the interiors. I'm not going to look at the interiors in this video, but there may be a, another video coming soon with the interiors. So let's open up the 9.6 comments. Now these are the PSD file and you, because I use paint.net, I have to have a Photoshop plugin, which I'll leave a link in the description to where to download that from with instructions on how to install it. So with OMSI buses and many other PSD files you may open in paint.net, you will become amazed by how many layers they are. I'm trying to think of the word there. Um, but what? Studio Polygon has done with the street light is they've added a paint here layer so you know where to add your paint, which is awesome. So we're gonna go and add for shapes and then have it selected to shape draw fill mode. I'm just gonna do a basic color, okay? We're not going to go through how to do the windows. Um, that will come at a later date when we look at the interior. So that's basically the paint. Now these black bits here, I assume would be these. So if you're not sure when you get to different bits like this on the file, if you're not sure what they are, go for a bright color and just paint them. So that's going to be yellow, that's green up there. This is going to be turquoisey blue. Now we know what these are. These are light clusters. So I'm going to do them. The one next to the black. I just have them like so. And the same with all this here. So at least these, when you put the bus into the game, you can see what these actually are. So that's done. I'm not going to go through the set bars and the labels here. Um, Cause I'm still working them ones out. <laughs> so if I go to file and I go to save as, it's going to go to the folder where you set up. So I'm going to keep it 9.6 commons so I know which bus it's for. And I'm just going to put how to and save that. I always wait for this to actually be complete before I press OK. I've done it a few times but I haven't waited and it's not worked. So now we're going to go and file save as again this time we're going to change it to a png and save so these are settings here auto detect 7128 
in case you want to know what they are because obviously I do um, ETS truck repaints as well so I have to keep changing the settings. So that's now a PNG and I'm going to press Control Z and just minimize paint net. So now we're going to need our well, how many folders do I have open? <laughs> I have too many. Uh, that's not the one. That's the one I need. So we're going to go into the main directory and we're going to go to the Cummings 9.6 and we're going to right click our repaint and copy and paste that. Now you need to make a CTI file. Now the best thing I do is, because it's only basic, is get the one that's all that comes with the bus and just copy and paste it, and then just rename to your repaint name. So how to? And then you can open this with either Notepad plus plus or normal Notepad. I prefer Notepad plus plus, and it's already open. So let me just get rid of. Close everything because I am silly. There we go. So you can take this off up here if you wanted to. And then this here, I'm going to change this to how to. Under item, it needs to be the name of the repaint. So how to. And you can see it has body and then lux.png or whichever. CTI file you copied and pasted, but this needs to be exactly the same name as your file. So I'm going to click on my file, right click and rename, control C, and then click, and then go back into Notepad, highlight locks, and control B. That is now set to that very file. And again, I'm not going to go through set vars, but I'm going to leave them as they are. Now, because this CTI file has more than one repaint on it, I'm just going to delete the other one. Okay, so now I'm going to go to save. And I'm just going to drop that down. I'm going to minimize it, as well as these windows. And it's now time to open OMSI and see how it looks in game. Right, so I have the light selected, the 9.6 Cummings. So let's go to the appearance and we should have a red bus. And we have a red bus. So let's place it in here. Now I always use Gondor because it's quick to load up, even though I've got so many mods, it's so slow. <laughs> so add it into game. And you can see the bits that I painted green are showing up already. Again, that will help you to determine what bits are for what, because some repaint files have um, a guide, a guide layer, which is a box around each part and tells you where they are, and sometimes they advise what colours they should be. So come on, Z, let's load up. There we go. Okay, so. We have the back, we have the sides, Woo, we have the front, and then we have the other side. So this is where things can get quite handy when you paint them different colours. So if we look at the roof, so the light green, if I just get the repaint up, this is why I did control in Z to get all the layers back. So we can have that as a separate color. So I'm gonna make that as a dark red. The light blue are these bits here. So I think I'm gonna also have those as a dark red. So we'll do that. Now, this is getting tricky because I painted this yellow and of course these are yellow as well. These aren't yellow enough so I need to find something on the repaint file that kind of looks like that. 
So let's go to here and assume it would be this. So if I make this dark red, and if I get a better yellow, oh no, that is yellow. And that should be everything. So if I take another look at the light clusters, yeah, and then this part down here looks good. Yep, nothing else to be painted. So nothing else is showing up. It's a different colour. Oh, hello. It's Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. And we can go around here everything looks absolutely fine now because in the CTI file we only have the body it will use the default colors for the interior which again that will come on a different video so that's fine as it is so I'm gonna save this file as the PSD, I want to replace it. Yes, thank you. And then I'm going to go file save as and resave it as a PNG. And flatten that. So I'm going to go back into OMSI and I'm going to get rid of the bus. Now for some people this might work. For me it doesn't always work. So let's get both windows back up. And we're going to copy and paste. And minimize these. Now hopefully bringing the bus back <coughs> should have the updated repaint. Now my game doesn't always work and I have to restart OMSI but some people's game allows you to change it while the game's open but we will see when it shows up. Okay so yes it has updated the file so let's just go to OK and let's see if this has worked. Right, so it's worked, but we still need to work on this bit here. But that is something that you can yourself um, play about with to make sure that all that gets the colour that you require. And yeah, that is it. Because it's, well, it needs working on, so it can be here as breakdown. So that's it. That's how you can do the exterior body of the studio polygon light and it's exactly the same thing for all the other variants exactly the same way well thank you for watching and i will see you soon in my next video have fun